It's great. All right. A car uses gas at a rate of that thing. These are all going to be awful functions, by the way. They won't give you nice things. All right. But it's the rate, which is what you need. Gallons per week, something per something else. How much gas is used from zero to three weeks? You absolutely cannot overthink these. What are you going to do? Integral zero to three of that thing. Slam it in the calculator. That is what pretty much this whole page is going to be, guys. However, I will say the functions aren't pretty. And typing them is a skill, so, you know, make sure you're practicing. Also, I need someone to double check me because guess what? I'm human and I type stuff wrong too. So I need for you to tell me that you got the same answer as me. Okay, cool. <laughs> alpha y equals. That's a good thing to remember, guys. Alpha y equals will give you that fraction bar. That saves you from needing a lot of parentheses. Now it is multiple choice, so you won't need units. However, units are important, and so I'm gonna bring it up. Um, what would be the units for that? Well, it wasn't gallons per week, just get, be accumulated gallons. Good job. Yeah. So we did an antiderivative. I think of it like position, velocity, acceleration. If you start with velocity, when do you remember the delta math last time? You had velocity. If you do an antiderivative, uh -huh. it takes you back to position. If you do a derivative, it takes you forward to acceleration. That's like how my mind does it. Yeah. Um, the analysis didn't throw people. It was the button pushing, you know? So we got to practice typing them. All right. A swimming pool gets filled up at a rate of that thing, gallons per minute. This one has an initial condition. It says there were 60 gallons in the pool when it got turned on. How much water is there after 30 minutes? How do we set it up? <clears throat> 60 plus integral zero to 30, R of T, D, T. Good luck, everybody. All right, a swimming pool is filled at a rate of this many gallons per minute. There were 20 gallons of water in the pool when the hose got turned on, but this one water is also leaking out, rate in, rate out, okay? Um, how much water is there after 30 minutes? So how much did we start with? Let's do that. 20. So it's going to be 20 plus integral when to when, 0 to 30. Actually, I've been telling you, I'm just going to ask, what do you think goes inside of there? R of T minus W of T DT. It's the rate in minus the rate out. Remember the party, people arriving, people leaving? Okay, go ahead. You can. Um, that is personal preference. I didn't do it because I'm lazy and I didn't want to write as much, but you could also write this if your brain feels it this way better. And then you would do minus integral zero to 30 W of T DT. Yeah, like that same thing. I is second and then the exponent key, it's right below clear. <clears throat> Did you get, well, hold on, it's thinking. Don't hit any buttons when it's thinking, just wait, okay? I have a feeling I hit something wrong. I got, I got that answer. You got that answer? Okay, then I think I'm right. Okay. 
I mean, you're so smart. You just got to work hard. All right, number 17. Oh, a party. There are initially 30 people at a party. They leave at a rate of this people per hour. How many people are at the party after two hours? What are we going to do? 30 minus. minus, good, integral. Zero to two, R of T, D, T. Perfect. We are subtracting because why? They're leaving. You do not have to go home, but you cannot stay here. We will round to the nearest whole person. <laughs> All right, for this one here, Shh. college board turned me into a liar and I have to take back something I said before because I found this problem. I said, whenever they give you an initial condition, you will use it. That's true for free response. That's still true for free response. I wasn't wrong there. You will use it if it's on free response. But I saw this one, actually two of them. That's why there's an A and a B where they give you this initial condition and you will not use it. Okay, so you got to be careful. It just says, what is the total distance traveled from zero to six? It's not where did you end up? So it's not like you're starting somewhere and then where did you end up? Just what's the total distance traveled from zero to six? So you don't need this. What's your setup? Good, absolute value V of T, DT. And that's what you're going to type in. Math, go over to numbers and it's the first one. If you ever can't find something, it's in the math menu somewhere. You just noodle around in that math menu long enough um, and you will find it. That's where everything is. And don't hit any buttons while it's pondering here, okay? <laughs> Uh, and there weren't units for this one. But for example, if there were units, it would be miles or kilometers or feet or inches or whatever have you. Yeah, and then displacement is the same. Now, hold on. Don't reach for that calculator. It's the same thing without the absolute value. Remember how I said you can't insert an absolute value into the problem? You can delete it, though. So let me show you this. Watch. Can you all just watch? Don't look away. I'm going to go up, hit enter, and bring that back. If you go and hover over the first bar, so right there, do you see this key that says DEL? That will delete it for you, okay? Cool. So you can't put an absolute value in there. You'd have to retype it, uh, but you can delete it. Now, those are practically the same answer. Uh, that's because Ms. Cole wrote this problem and I just kind of made up some numbers. I didn't check and see what it was gonna be. But why is this one bigger than this one? All the distance, treated them all like they're positive, okay? And then this last one is um, for your response. Oranges are put on a shelf by employees. I was channeling the banana problem when I did this one. All right, and then customers are also removing them. There's 50 oranges on the shelf at time zero. <clears throat> oranges are removed at 12 oranges per hour. Um, this graph shows R of T, the rate at which they are put on the shelf. So this is R of T. It's rate in, rate out. So this is the rate in, and then the 12 is the rate out. So it's a constant rate out, rate in, rate out. All right, how many oranges are put on the shelf from time zero to time two? And this is for your response, so you do have to write the setup. What would you write? Integral zero to two, now it's on the shelf. Which one's the rate in? The graph, which is called, okay, I kind of had to pull that out of you, but R of T, D, T. That's your setup. Now, you are allowed a calculator, but you can't just type that in because we don't have a function. Instead, what are we going to have to do? Area. Areas. Okay, so it's this area from zero to two. You can either do that as two trapezoids. You could break it into a triangle and another triangle and then some rectangles. Um, you can do whatever you want. You know, I already kind of drew the lines on there, so I think I'll do the triangles and the rectangles. Uh, this one would be six. 
This one would be 12, uh, one half base times height. This would be six, so three, and then this one would be two. Yeah, because this was by one. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, but you remember that other one we did where it was five? So anyway, all right, so what did that end up being? If you add all that up, is that 23? 23 what? Oranges. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. Oranges. Oh. All right, letter B. Is the amount of oranges on the shelf increasing or decreasing between time four and five? Justify your answer. Let's compare the rate in with the rate out. And actually, before we even look at this, if the rate in is greater than the rate out, then the amount of oranges is increasing. If the rate out is greater than the rate in, then the amount is okay, good. You all have common sense. Fantastic. All right, from four to five. From four to five, our rate in is about like three or four. Do you see what I'm saying there? So rate in is about three or four oranges per hour. What's your rate out? 12. So what are we going to say? All right, decreasing because four times uh, four to five, what are we going to say? Yeah, and you just need to mention the 12 in some capacity, though. 12 is greater than R of T. They'll like it if you say rate out is greater than rate in. Just make sure you mention the number 12 somewhere. Okay. So I looked from four to five on our rate in graph. From four to five, the rate in is about like between three and four but the rate out is 12. So they're only putting oranges on the shelf at about three or four per hour, but people are removing them at 12 oranges per hour. So they're being taken faster than they're being put out on the shelf. So the total amount would be decreasing. Cool. I look like you can see the little flower through the paper there. All right, at what time is the amount of oranges on the shelf a maximum? Now they didn't say absolute, but this is what kind of test here. Candidates test. I'm writing the word oranges because we don't have a function for oranges. So just oranges. Who are our candidates? Good, you guys got both of them. Endpoints are zero and seven. Now here's how you get the critical points. You set the rate out equal to the rate in. What was our rate out? It was 12, right? So if I draw a line through here at 12, where does it intersect the graph? At one, do you see that there? So one is your critical point. Here's the other way you can think of that if that sort of bothered you. Do you know how your critical points are usually the zeros? Like where it touches the x-axis? Just pretend that is your x-axis now. Do you see, like, does that help a little at all? Like that's what you're looking for, all right? So at time zero, that's easy. That's just how many oranges we started with. It's in that little paragraph. I don't want to keep moving the paper up and down. 50, we started with 50 oranges, cool. So at time one, you're going to take 50 plus, hold on a second, plus however many oranges got added. So from zero to one, what is our area? 14, good. Minus how many got taken, perfect. Uh, what is that? D2? You get a calculator because it's still calculator allowed. All right, for uh, seven, you start again with 50. That's the initial condition. Plus, now unfortunately, we got to go find the rest of these areas. So let's see. I'm going to break this into a triangle right here. And then a rectangle and then another triangle. Uh, so one half base times height. That would just be four, right? Oh, two, two, I'm sorry. Good, two times two is four, and then half of that is two. I'm sorry, thank you. All right, and then this one is eight. And then, so six, good. So let's add all that up. What did we say? This part was 23. So 30, I'm getting 39 in my head. 39, okay. No, hold on, it's not minus 12. 
we removed 12 per hour. So the reason it was 12 for this one is because it was only one hour. So 12 times seven is 84. So you removed 12 per hour for seven hours. I'm gonna type this in the calculator because this is calculator allowed and I don't wanna mess it up in my head. Five. No, it's close. Don't put that in your eye. I can't believe I'm saying that at the high school level. All right. So uh, maximum is how many oranges? All right, 52 oranges uh, at time one. If you write one, that's fine. Um, or I'm sorry, if you write X, that's fine. But it is T, T for 10. So it's what you started with plus what you gained minus what you lost. I actually really like that question. Mm -mm. All right, write but do not solve. I also love those. An equation involving an integral of R, R of T, where the solution will give where there's no oranges left. We did this practically exact same problem in the notes. Do you remember when the party is over, like when no one's left or when all the M&Ms are gone? Okay, and it's practically what we did here, just instead of actual numbers, it's gonna be symbols and stuff. We started with 50. And then you wanna put what you accumulated. Now, instead of a number, how would we write it? Hint, we kinda of did in part A, close to it. Yeah, R of T, D, T. Now, what would the boundaries be? It's zero to whatever, so we would put X. Because if you put seven, then that's seven hours. We wanna know how many hours, all right? And then minus, now they are taken at 12 oranges per hour. 12x, remember how for this one to get 84, we did 12 times seven? All right, what you started with plus what you gained minus what you lost equals zero. All 